Hey everyone, uh, round two of my little uh, YouTube series, and uh, practice makes perfect, they said, right on YouTube, do do your, uh, probably try to do two a week, get better at it, so it's looking late to anything else in life, so I try to think what to do, and uh, before I get into the prep on Saturday to get that second video in, and honestly, too much stuff. My head was swimming in the last two days. And all I thought about, I, I think I rehearsed about 10, 10 things over the last two days. And one thing I did learn, stay on course and don't go off on a tangent because you really don't have enough time. So tonight, I just thought a good opportunity maybe to practice and uh, get this off my chest. I kind of feel like I need to answer this is that, yes, I am still a member of River City Fitness, and uh, I plan on being a member for a long time, and uh, I love it there. I, uh, Mark and Amanda Daly are, are awesome owners, and they're awesome citizens of uh, Miramichi, everyone knows that, and they run a crazy good business. I had posted on Facebook a little while ago that uh, I had been to gyms all over the all over you know, the, the province while uh, we were going through those shutdowns and restrictions and I shouldn't have, shouldn't have just said gyms I said I, I thought they did the best out of any business that I've been in and uh, they're just great people and uh, I, I plan on you know going back and forth between here and, and there especially once I start getting up to five and six days working out five six days a week I'll go there on the weekends the odd time and and at night when, uh, you know, Tammy's at work at night and the boys are busy and... And uh, one thing I didn't mention in the previous video, one of the biggest reasons I like the dungeon so much is that... Uh, you know, my grandmother always said I had a guilty conscience, a heavy conscience. I, I always took the blame for everything. And, and all those years that uh, I, I'd be going to gyms and, and leave my family home for a couple of hours, that weighed heavy on me. It's such a comfort and feeling just, uh, you know, to know that they're just right upstairs, they need me, you know, I'm not too far away. And uh, that, that's, a, that's a huge, huge part of it. So, I just want to clear the, clear the air that uh, I'm still, still a member of River City unless they kick me out, but uh, the membership money's still coming out anyway. <laughs> and uh, I'll be back. And... Uh, I advocate anybody to, to uh, go to gyms, you know, I'm a special case, kind of unique, I, I love to train, I don't need much motivation anywhere I go, like uh, if I go to Cuba or, or down south, Disney, I'll always find a way to train. The, this I think was the first time when we went to a St. John camping, and that was the first time since I think 2012, that I took the first full week off and didn't train. You know, and it was all right too. It gave me good rest, and I enjoyed it. So sometimes you need a break from the things you love to do. So, like I said, I'm I'm kind of a unique case. I, I've been training for 35 years. I know what I'm doing. I, I don't need a lot of motivation. So uh, I'm a big advocate of gyms. Go to a gym. There's people around, and uh, people know what they're doing. And I'm an advocate of coaches. Go get yourself a coach. You know. Because I know it's intimidating when you first go in there, and and uh, especially you know if you're, I'd say if you're a teenager, a bunch of guys, you know, go in there and throw weight around. You'll probably learn yourself, ask a few questions. But if you're you know in your, anywhere in your 20s, 30s, 40s, whatever, and you haven't been to gyms before, go get a coach. It'll it'll help you. You, you might not need them for a long time, but until you get to know the machines and. Uh, Get yourself going, then you can kind of fly on your own, or you might might uh, want to keep them. It's not a big investment. There's a lot of investments in life, and uh, really, the money you get out, you know, it's a, it's uh, well worth the money to have a have a coach, to be a little bit of can with people. So, anyway, I just wanted to take a few minutes here, get a little more practice on YouTube, and uh, say uh, I love River City. I like all the gyms around here. There's four or five here in the in the Bear Machine. Pump it up, Yvonne's, the Pound. Forgetting a few. It's not like when I first started out. There's only one. 
and uh, go sign up with all those gyms. You know, support your local businesses. Get your supplements there if you can, and uh, and I will be back. I probably will be there this weekend, and uh, once I get up to five, six days a week, like I said, I'll be there on the weekends. And once I get closer to the end of prep, I'll be over there and uh, use the machines a bit more, where I won't have as much energy to to move weights around and steal. So that's it. I hope everybody understands. This has nothing to do with them. It's all about me. And uh, at this point in my life, I just like training, training here. But I, I'm going to mix it up. And I hope everybody understands that. So, like I said, I've been reading a lot about YouTube now. I think it's going to take over. Uh, I used to be obsessed with bodybuilding and, and uh, read on how to be more successful. The last couple of days, I've just been thinking of YouTube and getting on the treadmill and, and uh, reading how to be successful at, at that as well. So it's nice to have a different interest. And uh, one thing it taught me is uh, be sure to tell your audience to uh, subscribe, comment in the bottom, and uh, we'll tune in next time and uh, we'll get the prep going and we'll make it happen. Catch you next time.